Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Drive. Today we have a classic, a future classic Alfa Romeo 156 GTA from 2005. Before we go into detail, make sure to subscribe, make sure to like the videos, follow us on all digital platforms. Let's start the video. When talking about an Alfa Romeo, we need to start at the design because this is what makes this car so iconic. The Alfisti, the true love of an Alfa Romeo is here to be witnessed by all of us. So as you can see, white color, of course, but we have beautiful angles, beautiful openings. Look at this one. We have this nice looking headlights, kind of squarish. Then the typical Alfa grille at the front with those openings, four of them. You have nice openings down here and a big front bumper, which you will scratch on the bottom. That is sadly a little bit of a bad part, but other than that, the car is absolutely wonderful. Coming to the side, of course, the four leaf clover for good luck. We talked about it in the Julia video. You can click up here to see that also, but they used it here to show you that this is the fastest one, the 156 had. So the four leaf clover is imprinted here. It's on the top of the windscreen and in the middle of the interior. So you are driving with good luck. Then of course, we need to talk about this beautiful rim and the design of it. I mean, this by itself could literally just stand inside your house as a masterpiece, as a beautiful art design. Look how beautiful it is. Black color, originally they would be in silver, but they are colored in black with a red caliper, beautiful. Then you have this side skirts here that are really exposed, a little bit wider. It makes the car really wide and nice. Alfa Romeo door handles. So beautiful chrome silver metal and you don't just open them by pu pulling at the door handle you press to open the door so beautiful a little bit further back you can see you have this door handle at the front but at the back nothing so clean such a beautiful line nothing where do you open it you take your hand and open it here isn't that wonderful it makes it kind of like a coupe. If this line wouldn't be, you would assume it would be a coupe. The air vents, the downforce producing elements here actually don't do anything, but they look beautiful. Look how deep this diffuser goes in. Openings here and on the side of the back bumper, they really don't do anything. Two exhaust pipes exposed to the world. So you can hear the V6 sound. Beautiful back taillights, no logo in the middle. Just a clean, nice looking back. The engine is called the 932000A. It's a GTA 3.2 liter V6 producing 250 horsepower and 300 newton meters of torque. It accelerates the car in, from 0 to 100 in 6.3 seconds, tops out at 250 kph. And the engine has been designed by Mr. Busso. And it looks so beautiful. Look at those chrome elements here. It is just incredibly beautiful friends as soon as you get into an alpha like this you start to feel like a boss instantly why you ask yourself because you're somebody that is sitting in couch leather like seats it's literally insane how much leather the seats has used i mean everything is covered here in this cushions and leather the middle part down here in gray also leather with those parts then you have this gear lever in leather the steering wheel is leather typical italian design and the smell you the smell is just insane it smells so nice it is such a beautiful and interesting smell you get when you are in an alpha those cars are literally just for your heart, man. It's insane. Other than that, I mean, the car is from 2005. There's no, not a lot of technology. You have your uh, benzene petrol gauge, the aqua, uh, what they call, this is the water temperature in the middle of the clock, but it's really, really not that impressive. Manual gearbox, manual e-brake, if you want to turn into the corner and pull on the e-brake, that's it. Welcome to the back of this Alfa Romeo 156 GTA. So, it feels so nice, man. The only thing you want is a drink here, a good cigar, and then just smoke it in here. But for that, you need to rest your arms somewhere. Put this down and look at that pillow here, that cushion. Two air vents at the front, but um, 
I mean the space is not that good of course I'm a little bit tall uh, get yourself a smaller driver this is this car is just for the boss of the family man really and I love it it makes me smile it's beautiful <laughs> let's take it for a drive the first meters feel very comfortable of course couch like seats we are warming the car up but I forgot something important when driving an Alfa Romeo I need some great shades put them on and let's try our best so the car weighs in at 1410 kilograms this one in particular has a Bilstein suspension so it's very sporty and it's very hard what is interesting though is everything feels very smooth I have to tell you it feels very smooth it doesn't feel unstable or anything it has to do with this Bilstein suspension probably acceleration Wow! <laughs> That's what I like. The pedals are very good. They are narrow to each other so you can heel and toe better. Very nice. But what we're going to do now is we're going to drive the mountain road upwards so I can tell you a little bit more about how it feels around corners. But now since we have to get concentrated and drive a little bit faster let me put the shades away the sound of this engine is very beautiful it's not so loud but it's very beautiful the steering wheel is so light in the hand shifting the gears feels also so nice and beautiful but the corners are coming up in a minute so we're gonna test how it drives there I can't wait really I'm so excited it's it's unbelievable I'm more excited than driving a sports car you're sitting kind of in an odd position the steering wheel is a little bit tilted to the left side a little more so that's funny okay fourth gear third gear I'm turning off the ASR nice second gear turning in seats hold you tight just good on the steering wheel hold the throttle accelerate out very nice <laughs> And on the brakes second gear turn here you have to watch out it is a front wheel drive car so it tends to push the front wheels and understeer beautiful beautiful drive turn here wonderful how it handles really it isn't the sportiest car in today's terms but it's still very nice it's really a fast car and it feels much faster than you're actually going because it's old but 250 horsepower were no joke especially it's light 1410 kilos dry so you're driving about 1300 uh, 1550 kilos but turning here for example go out put it in first gear even I mean look how smooth I could shift <laughs> yes baby second gear come on turn in yeah let us feel the Italian beauty first gear hairpin coming up front wheel drive stay on the throttle second gear turn in hold it on the throttle Bilstein suspension is working accelerate out Wow! <laughs> oh man! You know you can have fast cars that are much faster than this but this is just so much more joyful. An old car, a true mafian car, but so beautiful to drive really. I know you got the message it's time to say goodbye thank you for watching make sure to subscribe make sure to like and let me give you one more acceleration of this beautiful Italian car man listen to that ah it's so beautiful 
Máquina Rosa. See you on the next one. Goodbye.